Just yeah. there's been obviously a revamp of the offensive line. Three new offensive linemen along with yourself and Cesar Ruiz, but you guys understand this and you are now the veteran of the line. Just mm -hmm. what has that process been like? Well, first, I'm going to say that I will only be able to answer this question if we refer to him as Caesar McCoy from now on. <laughs> That's the first. First things first. I need it to be in the interview. Caesar McCoy. He, he will always be Caesar McCoy. Caesar McCoy now. Um, but yeah, I think we have a ton of talent. Um, I think it all comes on execution. I think Tali, you know, first round pick, what, pick 14? Mm -hmm. um, transitioning sides, I think he's super talented. Um, and he's coming in and he's worked this camp. He missed a few days with, you know, whatever he had going on. Um, but I think he's a ball player. And I really believe that he'll have a great rookie year. And I'm excited to see what this year, his first real game, what that looks like. Because I think that he can be a really good player for this team for a long time. Um, I'm sorry, the new starter, Lucas. Um, Lucas, veteran, savvy guy. Um, knows a lot. He's been in this system before. Um, so even things where I haven't known all the answers, he's there to even help me out. Um, because he's been, in, he's been in this for a couple of years and he's done it. So I'm excited to be playing next to him because he's super intelligent. Um, who's the other new starter? Trip. Oh, um, <laughs> Trevor, once again, transitioning sides are in a new position. Um, I think that he's made strides over the past couple of years and, uh, um, yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be a good year for him. You know, it can be a, be a fluid situation on the offensive line. We've seen that in the past where, yeah. you know, guys get injured and those kinds of yeah. things. But there's rarely been a time where you started the season with three new starters. Yeah. Um, how un unsettling is that, if it's unsettling at all? Yeah. Um, first off, your breath smells really good. I'm sorry it's right in my face. Um, but I would say that I'm not unsettled. I try not to be unsettled in any situation, in fact. Um I mean, it'll be different, but I believe in all of the guys that we have, and I believe in the talent that we have in the room, and I believe in the offensive system to put us in the best place possible um, to go out there and execute and to um, ultimately be a really good offensive line. How is it being the bedrock of this offensive line? Because you're the guy who's the veteran. You've been here the longest, and you're the longest tenured, and you're obviously the, you're the guy that they're looking at and counting on. Yeah, I mean, it's all part of the job. Um you know, I know that these guys rely on me. I know that I am the old guy in the room and that I have a standard that I set my, for myself. Um, you know, I expect them to hold me to that standard if I'm not living up to it. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is. It's part of the job. And I am excited for it. I'm excited to kind of sit in the leadership role the second year in a row. I think it's given me an opportunity to – it has given me an opportunity to grow um, and really challenge myself to be more vocal, to be more – demanding of the people around me. Yeah. Now, you say they hold you to a standard. Obviously, you hold them to the standard, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. um, how do you go about that? Are you kind of a, a chastiser? Are you a guy who, a, a cheerleader? Or, you know, how do you how do you get guys to perform the way you want them to? Yeah, yeah. I think it all depends on the guy and it depends on the time. Um, you know, some guys do better with encouragement. I don't want to say cheerleading, but encouragement. Some guys do better with you on there. That's just the reality of it. Um, like, if you ever see me and C's going back and forth, like, we'd be yelling at each other because, like, that's kind of how we communicate the best. I know it sounds dumb, but, like, he knows I'm serious and I'm sorry. I know he's serious, but he starts yelling. Um, but a guy like Tali, rookie, you want to build him up. You want to encourage him. Um, so, yeah, I think it just depends on the guy and I think it depends on the moment.